Megan Thee Stallion drops some new music, or at least a snippet of some new music. And it sounds suspiciously like a Tory Lanez diss. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BB in! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so... Yeah! So, apparently, Megan Thee Stallion has dropped what can be considered maybe a Tory Lanez diss track. Okay. Now, <laughs> I want to say a couple of things real quick just so we can be clear on this, right? One is I think that Megan Thee Stallion has the right to rap in any style that she wants. She's a grown woman. If she wants to rap in a certain uh, type of way, she should. Why shouldn't she, right? Um, also, I want to say, as far as Megan Thee Stallion goes, she has bars. So, I want this to be understood that I am in no way speaking lightly on her ability to create music. She's a good artist. Seriously. Not even joking. Nice voice. Uh, for rap and she has her own type of delivery it might just be a houston delivery i think right i'm not in houston right but i, I would assume that that's a houston delivery that she's given i'm not in houston but you know anyway um she has her own as far as the the industry is concerned her own style right because there's no people out right now that's using that specific style now, with all that being said, in the song, that could be a a affront to um, make um, part of me, Tory Lanez. I just want to point out a couple of lines that she says that sometimes it's just be quiet, don't talk. Okay, so she said, just so we could be clear, that she was never dating Tory Lanez. That's what she said when she did her little. Her, her very important I don't I don't want to minimize anything so part of me but her very important um IG live that she spoke and she spoke about what happened and she said her and Tory Lanez were never dating well in this rap that she put out she says she never puts titles on anything right so basically Tory Lanez could have been telling the truth he could have been it could have been a situation where he was banging the both of them, but, you know, because of her and who she is and how she deems sex and relationships, she doesn't put titles on anything. So she wasn't dating Tory Lanez, even if she was having sex with him. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not playing with words. I think they're playing with words so we could be clear. Also, um, I think. And this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. Mama, I'm all the way single. Uh, I, I, I just, I get, at this point, it's something God intends. It's, it's just no, God is just like Jack Frost. This is what it is. And you just got to live with it. So I am in no way trying to pretend like I know more about relationships than anyone else. Because obviously I know the least. But... I am going to say this, and this is just an assumption because I have been in relationships previously. So this is just an assumption. The argument that was had was Tory Lanez was busy having sex with the two women. The fight allegedly, allegedly was <laughs> between the, between the ladies. That's, just so we can be clear, we're hearing that the fight was between the ladies. 
So just so we clear on this, if it comes out, I'm just saying that Meg the Stallion was the one who was upset with the um, arrangement. Then I want to know how people feel about this music that she's making, because Meg the Stallion's music is just so we could be clear seems to be 100% predicated on women should just go and sleep with whoever and do or whoever they want to do. I don't think this is women empowerment. I think women empowerment would be more like, you know, go and get a, make a family, get kids, go be a professor, go be all you could be live out your potential we're all smart we're all intelligent we're all beautiful don't let it go to waste have strong people in your circle who can help push and motivate you don't hate on each other promote each other love each other love yourself like this is what i would think women empowerment would be closer to not have sex with as many people as you want. Never actually be in a relationship. I mean, this is, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think as far as that is concerned. Like, what the hell do I know? Like I said, I'm single with shit. So I know nothing about nothing. Okay. Um, anyway, so this 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 rap that she kicked, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, people are going to like it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Megan Thee Stallion can rap. This is... I don't know if she writes her own stuff or somebody else. I don't got the slightest idea, but she can rap. Even if somebody else writes her own stuff, she could perform. Just so everybody could be clear, there's some people who could write the shit out of raps and can't perform, worth nothing. And then there's other people who could perform like crazy, but they're just not good rappers. So other people write their music. I think in any regard, uh, everybody should be uh, respected for their, their, their uh, how do you say, for what they're bringing to the table because some people just are better performers it's just that's what it is and some people are actually good at pinning words just that's just what it is it is what it is anyway um also let me know what y'all think like is these is is if if megan the stallion is going to continue to put out this quote unquote hot girl music and it comes out that in reality what happened was she was in her feelings I want to know where do we go with this? Do, look, you got a ton of these rappers out here that swear that they gangster and they ain't. So I'm not saying anything. We're not canceling Meg the Stallion. So stop all that shit. Anybody that's saying that foolishness, we're not canceling Meg the Stallion. Um, I think that she didn't necessarily tell the truth when she said how she got injured. We're still not canceling Meg the Stallion. Uh, we need to stop pushing people away and myself included like on a whole personal level um we need to stop pushing people away and we need to start pulling in people closer because some people need hugs some people need love some people didn't never really experience the type of love that they needed in order for them to be able to grow and blossom into the person that they have the potential to be so I'm not really on this whole cancel culture thing. And also, just, just a whole random other thing. Can we please not cancel Doja Cat? I like Doja Cat. She crazy as shit. But I like her. Can we please not cancel her? She's going to be doing some weirdo shit next week. She's always doing weirdo stuff. But I really like Doja Cat. Can we just... I just wanted to throw that... Every time we talk about canceling, I realize just how close Doja Cat is to getting canceled every other day. So can we just please not cancel her? Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Um, anyway, go listen to the track. It's on uh, Meg Thee Stallion's IG. She killing it as usual. Meg Thee Stallion is a good rapper for real, for real. Um, but what about her message? If her actions allegedly, allegedly got her shot in the foot, should she then also be trying to encourage other people to do these same actions? Also, just might I add, it would be so funny. Just, I'm sorry, this would be so funny if Meg Thee Stallion actually was the one who got angry because Tory Lanez and her were sleeping together. 
and Tory Lanez was also sleeping with the other girl. And just on the whole flip note, you know what even would be funnier? If Tory Lanez was sleeping with the other girl first and Meg Thee Stallion just came to ruin their fucking relationship. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?